Hi there, my name is Cynthia Wakeo. Today we're exploring more on how training can help retain your sales team. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Cynthia. Let's start, uh, start us off by telling us why employers find it hard to retain their sales team and, and, and why this happens. Yeah, that's a very important question. So I would attribute this to two main issues. Number one, when it comes to retention, uh, I think the biggest question first is to ask yourself, do you have the right person on board? So you find uh, recruitment for sales, it's, it's very different from, say, recruitment from, for an accountant or communication or procurement officer. Why? Because those jobs you find, they're more or less very well defined. For example, if you hire an accountant today, tomorrow you can know exactly what they've done from morning to evening. And that will count as results. You know, the fact that someone is busy at our desk, uh, that would count as results as production. Mm -hmm. However, for sales, we know the nature of sales. There are so many dynamics, there are so many factors that influence whether a salesperson is able to perform or not. So you find uh, recruitment must be approached different. And I'm unfortunately, uh, in my experience, in the 12 years that I've been in HR recruitment, you find that uh, the approach is very casual when it comes to hiring a salesperson. So employers or managers, they look at the person who talks most, who really engages them, and not asking themselves, do this person have the right skills? Do they understand the sector I am in? So I'd say a lot of firms, they fail there in terms of bringing the right person on board. So that does affect retention because if you hire the wrong person, Cynthia, then definitely not going to stay. Yeah. But now when you hire this person, then you've got to look at the working condition, the work environment, is it conducive? And here there are two, I would approach it in two ways. Number one, uh, what support are you offering this person? And support here can be in terms of availing the necessary tools and the resources. For example, do you give them transport? Do you give them the merchandise? Do you give them, them the tools of trade, you know, that will empower them to be able to perform? And now having done the basic, then you've got to move to the next level. Where is now? How do you empower them? How do you motivate them? And this is where uh, training comes in. Uh, this is where uh, commissions, incentives come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would say uh, in terms of the issue of retention, the first one is get it, getting it right in terms of recruitment. And number two, how do you motivate the ones that you feel are ideal and are doing the right job? Mm. Yeah. Let's look at what you've said, training. Uh, how can it come in to help with this? I think training is key, very key, and this is a conversation that we'll be having. So the way I see training working is, uh, number one, you'll be able to empower someone. So today, Cynthia, if I want you to go to Mombasa, you can walk to Mombasa, you can fly to Mombasa, you can use the SGR, you can even use a donkey. You know, there are so many options available. So depending on how I facilitate, I'll make it easier for you. So if I give you an air ticket, all you need is to go to the airport and within one hour you're in Mombasa. I've made your work easy. On the other hand, if I want you to use a donkey or a cart or a horse, I mean, it will take you months to be able to get to Mombasa. So training is works the same way. So if I train you, let's say either on the products or you having the right sales skill, the message I'm sending to you is I value you. I'm here with you, I, uh, I'm invested in your performance. And that has a way in terms of uh, motivating you to do your very best. And second, also it affects the retention in the sense that you also want to work with someone who also supports you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a two-way street. Mm. Yeah. And uh, we offer this training. Uh, how, why does corporate staffing stand out? I think for us is the ability to customize the training to match the needs of the of the employer because sales is a, it's a very broad area. It's quite broad. So the first thing we do is come, get to understand your needs. Where is your team struggling? If at all they are struggling, mm -hmm. you know, and then identify the gaps either by talking to you or even the, the sales team. And when you're able to understand their needs, then you can be able to customize the training for them. Yeah, so that way it works. So then we don't just, it's not off the shelf where we say, oh, we do sales training and then it's, we just take a box. No, it's to come up with a, pro, uh, with a program that works for you. And beyond the training, we also offer you support, uh, like three months um, review and where we continue supporting you because even if we train you one or two days, I'm, I'm sure there will still arise questions 
you know, when it comes to execution. So in terms of the sales team or the manager, we on uh, uh, we on call, so they can always call us. We also visit, you know, after the three months. So any additional support we uh, is that is needed, we offer it as a complimentary. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you too. Thank you so much for watching. As you've had, training your sales team can help you retain them. For more information about our sales training, please click on the link below. See you next time.